Booyah! All right, man. So I'm out here. Um, this is the Ford Sync system. We're Lincoln My Touch. I don't know how you want to call it, but my vehicle is a Lincoln MKZ Hybrid. Got this down in uh, the Bellevue Prestige Ford Lincoln Mercury. So I'm going to show you real quick today. It's really easy and it's totally worth it. Um, how to load your own custom pictures on the home screen of your Ford Sync. So this, again, this could be your Ford Lincoln or Mercury. Um, they're all really similar, slightly different on each of them, but in general what i found is that they uh, perform really much the same. So the magic key here is that obviously this is a CD-ROM, and um, this to get custom pictures does not work with USB. So you need to burn a CD, right, which is, you know, uh, five cents a piece nowadays, um, grab up to 32 JPEG images, burn them onto a CD, uh, this whole episode, we're, you know, the whole thing to do it for you will take five minutes, and I highly recommend it. As you can see here on the home screen, you kind of have a couple choices. Um, oops. Um, you can have your nav up, and then you kind of your variable information on the right, or even you can also have a picture on the right. Obviously, again, this is the default, giving you love, showing, hey, you're cool, you have a hybrid or whatever. Um, or, of course, right... With custom images so slap this bad boy in um, the drive as you can see right there it's reading the disk um, the file size can be up to like 1.5 meg so don't go grabbing some super massive high def setup go ahead and touch the picture on the left as you can see, that's default image, which is, you know, the hybrid logo in the MKZ hybrid. Uh, and then here on the right, hey, here's your saved photos, of course, the default. We're going to go ahead and just hit add. As you can see, here's the, the nasty gram, as I call them. JPEG, 1.5 meg, and you can do up to 32 images. So this can be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your spouse, your freaking dog or cat, your, gar your yard or garden. I don't know what you want to put on here. I am a Washington State Cougar alumni, so... I like to use some Wazoo logos. Um, so, okay, we hear your warning message. Um, okay, and now, bam, you can see all the pictures. Now, I did have a couple PNGs on here as well. And guess what? They did not work. So here's one. I just Basically, what I grabbed um, was some pictures of the MKZ. I literally just did a uh, search online and just started just grabbing photos. So in this case, I'm not going to pick through them because I already hand-picked them. I'm just going to hit add all. Now, this, I don't know. It's really not slow, considering I'm only doing seven photos. I did have nine on this, and two of them were PNGs. They did not work, right? Which definitely tells you a lot. So what I'm going to do is um, grab... Um, I'm going to grab the Wazoo logo, because that's what I definitely like to use a lot. found some real nice one. I wish I could give the guy credit, but I can't remember who he is. So there I go. I select it. Boom. Real nice Wazoo logo. Looks great. Now, if I do hit, like, edit... What you can also do is you can rotate the image right or left, right, in case you, like, are, are lazy and um, didn't edit any photos. You can zoom in, zoom out, bam. Right, if you if you just if you felt it looked better or had too much white space, I'm going to hit reset because all my pictures are pretty well um, prepared. Um, hit back here because I'm not going to edit the photo. As you can see, you can also randomize, and I actually do, do, um, I do utilize random. I don't know, I can't figure out far so far how frequently they switch, but in general, if you have one pick that you really want, I'll just leave it to off so you know you're guaranteed to get that photo. Or if you have three pictures, you know, of your girlfriend or your, you know, boyfriend or main squeeze and like, you know, like three great shots so you don't care what they show, then that works too. But anyways, we're going back. Now you have a custom home screen. And I think it looks great. So if you have some satellite radio going right here. Boom, right? There's how it looked. Now you can also do the same with the right side. Um, you know, if you want to nav on there and you want on the right side, um, you wanted to show another picture, bam, touch that. Here's all your saved photos. Let's say on the right side, I wanted to show the, the MKZ logo. Right, a nice little uh, sales pitch there. I'm not a salesman, I'm an owner. But, all right, now, bam. So now you could have a couple different photos. So this is how I typically roll. I like my media, 
and then I like the equalizer and I like the custom photo on the other side boom right so there's a serious preview hip hop nation uh, I, I use my phone a lot but anyways it's really easy to do I think it really adds a lot now when you're done Bam, pop this thing out. This is really an easy exercise to do. Oops. Now, to me, um, this disc is uh, its garbage now. Uh, I pretty much never need to use this again. So this is the benefit of the Ford Sync system. Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles that have the, the Sync system built in can do this. I really do recommend it. You know, it's a little bit of a wow factor. Unless, you know, you don't, unless you don't give a crap and you just want to show the nav on the screen. Um which is cool too, but that's how you upload photos and you can also edit them, but I mean, come on, this is not a photo editor. Um, just grab some pictures that you like. I hope this helps. This is Cuz from BooyahGadget.com. I have definitely, um, make sure you check us out because I have a lot more, uh, a lot of other videos on how to use this uh, in a cool way because um, this is a nice, definitely a nice system. Later.